Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a great start. I have another candle review for you today from Kringle. And this is actually a Kringle Reserve fragrance that I purchased last year when it was first released. I honestly cannot remember when that was, but I want to say it was probably tor more towards the beginning of the year. The reason that I think it was more towards the beginning of the year is that this black jar here isn't very opaque, and I'm just going to do a little spin here so that you can see what I'm talking about. The newest Reserve candles are a little bit less opaque, like you can see through the jar a little bit more. They're still black, but they're not quite as intensely black. Um, so you can see the little flames just barely kind of dancing around in there with the newer Kringle jars. Um, that they are putting out now. Um, you can see a lot more of the flame. Um, a lot of people were saying that they kind of missed the, uh, the ambiance when it comes to the reserve candles because these were so insanely dark and opaque. So I really like that they incorporated th that change. I love these black jars, don't get me wrong, but I do appreciate the uh, the a little bit more of the transparency in the glass now it just helps to remind me um to blow out the candles at the end of the night because there have been times where i have gone to bed and maybe i've become a little bit nose blind to a fragrance throughout the day and um you know i i fall asleep i wake up the next morning and i think wow my house smells incredible and then i realize oh poop <laughs> I left this candle burning overnight the entire night, which is obviously a huge safety concern. Please always remember to make the rounds every evening and blow out your candles. Um, it would be an absolute shame and a tragedy if something happened and your house burns down while you're sleeping. Um, so always make sure to blow your candles out when you are leaving your house or when you're going to bed or taking a nap or anything like that. So little little safety, uh, safety talk there for you. But anyway, I picked up this candle when it was first released last year, and I don't know why I didn't burn it right away. I should have because gosh, is it delicious. But I also thought it's kind of fun, uh, a fun fragrance, if you will, for around Valentine's Day. Personally, I love getting a box of chocolates. I didn't get one on Valentine's Day this year. <laughs> I did get a fun little teddy bear, but I did not get a box of chocolates. Probably didn't need it, so it's fine. But I love the smell of chocolate right around Valentine's Day, so I figured I'd save this until then. And I did light this up on Valentine's Day, and obviously couple of weeks before and a few weeks since then as well. So um, this is a very delicious, authentic scent. Now it is not without a little bit of a complaint on my part, and that has to do with the strength and throw of this one, but we'll get to that here in a little while. There is a way to amp it up just a little bit, but Again, we'll talk performance a little bit later on in the video. Um, I did purchase this fragrance myself, like I mentioned. Um, I am a Kringle ambassador. If you want to save 15% with Kringle, you do, there's no like minimum purchase to be able to use this. Um, my discount code Melanie15 will save you 15% off at checkout. It applies to most sales. If the sale is like clearance pricing, it usually you can't combine it, but most candles, even if they're on sale, you can combine my discount code with. There is a link on where to shop with Kringle in the description box down below. Um, this one right here is still available. I will tell you that the Kringle Reserve candles rarely go on sale. Sometimes during end of the year clearance time, you can find uh, a one-off reserve candle that they're trying to um, clearance out but it's pretty rare that the reserves go on sale. So um, if you wanna save any money on these, they all retail for $34. So that 15% is gonna be your biggest discount. So um, I know that the price point is a little bit of a, um, a sticking point for a lot of people when it comes to, re to the reserve candles, and I totally get it. No pressure for me to try this, but if you're interested, at the very least, you can save that 15%. 
This one gets amazing reviews and I'll tell you why is because it smells absolutely edible. If you are looking for one of the most authentic chocolate scents, uh, Sinful is definitely your girl here. So let's go ahead and go through the fragrance description, the fragrance notes, and then we'll talk strength and throw and, um, I'll, you know, update like, you know, overall burn quality as well. All right, so our scent description is Sinful. Whipped praline merges with creamy peanut butter and delicious chocolate morsels. The top notes are whipped hazelnut and praline. The mid notes are creamy peanut butter and chocolate morsels. The base is vanilla bean woods and sugared musk. Um, please don't be scared away by that musk. This isn't a musky fragrance. This is a very edible gourmand fragrance. So um, you're, you're not gonna be smelling any type of like uh, muskiness in this per se okay so what are the predominant notes here that my nose kind of picks up and this might vary from person to person so just keep this in mind everybody's nose is a little bit different but to me i smell a solid um almost creamy whipped milk chocolate um i do wish that i smelled the praline but i don't smell the praline at all you guys but what i do get is the hazelnut it's almost like they took a couple of spoonfuls of maybe nutella <laughs> and tossed it in with the whipped milk chocolate and then kind of blended that together. So it's not a ton of hazelnut, <clears throat> but it's definitely there. The milk chocolate is quite sweet. Um, personally, I actually tend to prefer like a darker chocolate scent because they're not usually as sweet, but this works. This is not overly sweet or cloying at all. So if you're afraid of that with this chocolate scent, I don't think this is sickeningly sweet. It's really not. Now, in terms of the peanut butter, yes, 100% you smell peanut butter in here. I would say that the chocolate portion of this is probably right around like 70%. Um, the hazelnut is maybe, you know, like another small portion of it. And then the remainder is definitely the creamy peanut butter mixed up with this. It's so good, you guys. It's primarily a chocolate scent, but you will absolutely detect the peanut butter. Now, whether you get the hazelnut or the praline may vary from person to person. To me, like I said, the hazelnut is what I pick up in terms of nuttiness. Um, and then the vanilla bean woods. I mean, really, I wouldn't call this like a vanilla scent. I could see where, you know, maybe certain chocolates might have some vanilla mixed in there um and the sugared musk is kind of funny because i feel like this is just one of those notes that's maybe meant to support the other fragrances i don't smell i don't smell any muskiness at all sugared or otherwise so um really this is just mostly a chocolate scent with a uh a little uh helping of hazelnut and uh, a pretty you know noticeable amount of peanut butter as well but it's mostly chocolate if that's what you're looking for she's still available on the website and oh man this is a pleasant pleasant experience <laughs> if you're a chocolate person sometimes i think certain chocolate scents can be quite overpowering or a little bit not necessarily headache inducing but just like ugh, you know like it's a lot of chocolate and so, for example, a uh, chocolate layer cake from Yankee Candle. I really love chocolate layer cake, but after about three hours of that one, I was like, yeah, I'm done. Like, I just cannot smell this anymore. It's too much. It just kind of gets to be maybe a little bit like sickeningly sweet after a while. That's not the case with this one. And I'm wondering if it's because you're getting a little bit of like that salty peanut butter in there that it kind of helps to um, maybe level out the sweetness from the chocolate a little bit. Um, but it's a perfect chocolate blend, you guys. If I were to get another chocolate candle, it's going to be this one. It's so good. Um, my husband likes this one. My daughter likes this one. This is kind of a family favorite here in our house. But here's my only complaint. And I don't know if yours will have this strength and throw because like I said, this one has been around for a little while and I'm sure that they've had subsequent pours of this to keep it in stock, I feel like. 
but the strength and throw of this is only about like a five, a five and a half on its own. I get a little bit more out of it if I put it into a hurricane. It does amplify the fragrance just a touch to where it's maybe up to like a six in terms of strength and throw. But I would actually like a little bit more from this one. Um, the newer Kringle Reserve candles that launched recently are so much stronger in terms of strength and throw. I know a lot of people were saying that for the increased price point here, they really want more oomph from these candles. And if you are ordering sweet cream, if you are ordering... Um, sprinkled macarons um, and uh, California Cab, uh, any of those newer scents from the Reserve line, uh, significantly stronger by like a decent amount. So um, not that you can get sweet cream or <laughs> sprinkled macarons or jelly donut. Um, I still am waiting for Kringle to re-release more of those. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a little bit lighter than honestly what I would like it to be. That being said, um, it's okay, but it's just, it, this one here, this first one that I purchased last year, just, it, I was hoping that, you know, maybe even letting it sit about a year or so would help to increase that a little bit more because it was a little, just a touch lighter on Cold Sniff as well but it really hasn't matured much. So um, yeah, this is one where I did not find an increase in strength and throw by letting it sit. I find that that works with a lot of other candles, but not here with Sinful. All that being said, no burn issues. Uh, the wax is still a pure, beautiful, creamy white. I'll give you guys an overhead shot. The wicks are perfect. Um, no complaints there. So there she be. Uh, that wax is still as creamy white as it was when I started the initial burn here. Um, I do trim the wicks ever so slightly on my subsequent burns, and I find that that is, um, that works great. Just, just a little snip to get, like, the little bit of the mushroom tops that form at the top there, those little carbon balls, get rid of those, and then you're pretty much golden. So, I love the scent. I give it two thumbs up, especially as a chocolate fragrance, and um, she'll be a repurchase for me in the future, um, for sure. But <laughs> I'm gonna hope that maybe I get one of the newer pours where one, the uh, the jar is just a touch um, less opaque here, and also maybe uh, that increased strength and throat, because even though I don't want this to give me a headache um I could stand to uh get a little bit more out of this one so anyway you guys uh let me know what your thoughts are on sinful I know so many of you love it so leave those comments in the description box down below and share your love of sinful with everybody else or if you got this and you're like ew barf no <laughs> never again <laughs> Also, let us know that. Obviously, everybody has their own personal preferences, but um, yeah, if this one didn't speak to you, definitely feel free to share that as well. I'm not going to censor that at all, so um, I want everyone to be able to share, you know, whatever their true feelings are on a fragrance. Not everybody is going to love the same thing. So anyway, you guys, I hope that this review was helpful. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up for the algorithm gods. Subscribe if you are new. I appreciate you so much and stay tuned for more candle reviews coming in the very near future. Take care. Toodaloo.